Military Greetings. Welcome to Power Struggles Military Channel. Manufacture of MK-84 Conical Bomb and Specifications. The MK-84 Cone Bomb was a free-falling, unguided 2,000-pound GP bomb. The Low Drag General Purpose Bomb, LDGP, was designed to be aerodynamically lean. Their case is relatively light, and about 45% of their total weight is explosive. These bombs use nose and tail tips and conical or underdeveloped tail fins. Normal fuses are mechanical M904 nose and M905 tail. Most of the more than 12,000 MK-84s issued during Desert Storm were dropped by the Air Force's F-15E, F-16, and F-111F. Less than 1,000 of the total were dropped by Marine Corps tactical aircraft. In this video bomb making with the 332 Expeditionary Maintenance Squadron, Ammunition system specialists with 332 Expeditionary Maintenance Squadron build a MK-84 cone bomb in an ammunition storage area at an undisclosed location, Southwest Asia, October 28, 2022. Munition system specialists are responsible for providing small arms to security forces, destroying explosives to explosive ordnance disposal, and bombs and missiles to fighter aircraft. Modified MK-84 with BSU-50-B high-drag tail assembly. The Balut airbag that spreads from the tail provides a high-speed, low-altitude delivery capability by slowing the bomb down quickly and allowing the aircraft to escape the detonation pattern. The tail assembly consists of a low-drag tube assembly, which contains the balut, combined balloon and parachute, and a release lanyard assembly which opens a tube which releases the balut. Earlier series, such as the MK-80 series were developed in the 1950s in response to the need for bombs that produced less aerodynamic drag. All MK-80 series bombs are similar in construction. The MK-80 series bombs are cylindrical in shape, and equipped with conical fins or retarders for high-speed external transport. That's the information for today. See you at the next military information. So don't forget to continue to support the Power Struggles military channel so that we are more enthusiastic about providing the latest information for you. Thank you for watching to the end.